Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. So if it's your first time here, thanks for being here. If you like what you see and you subscribe, just hit that little bell. That way you get notified whenever I post a new video. I try to post like every once every couple weeks. I would like for it to be more and maybe eventually it will be, but for now that's kind of all the time I have. Yeah, and if you are returning, awesome. Glad you're here. Um, so today I'm going to do a Dutch pour. I've been loving those lately. Um, it's going to be black and white again, black, white, and silver. I'm going to try out some of this Amsterdam Oxide Black. Sorry for the mess. Like I just, I can't keep anything clean. I don't know how people possibly keep stuff clean, but anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, I've used this before in like swipes and stuff like that as a cell activator. Um, I just mix it with all Floetrol, like three parts Floetrol to one part paint. Um, and I get end up getting some more cells or lacing. I'm actually hoping to get more lacing with this as I um, blow the paint with the hairdryer. I'm, like it's kind of, it kind of, it's like lighter. Sorry for that sound, it's actually my um, dryer. <laughs> um, but anyway, it kind of, um, it becomes lighter and just kind of blows across the, the white and I'm hoping to give some cool design. So we'll see, if not, it's just black, so whatever. You can't lose, right? I'll be doing this on three pieces again, these art panels. Um, I got from Dollarama. These, this was a paint over actually. I just gave it a, a coat of gesso. I only had black. Um, it comes in black and white. I would have preferred white because I'm doing most of my pour in white, but um, whatever, I, I used what I had. And the only thing is um, I just paint the edge white, as you can see, um, because like with an acrylic pour, it's thick enough to cover that black, but the as it runs off the side, it gets really thin and then it, the black would show. So I painted that and then one thing that is good to do is like you can kind of see the mess on here is while it's still wet is to smooth that edge out because um you might not notice but it'll it'll dry with a little ridge in places and that will interfere with the paint like either while you're um, blowing the paint or if you want to tilt it'll interfere or even while it's drying it'll kind of it'll kind of mess it up so it's just good to smooth that out and make sure you have a nice um base to start with so um, I'm gonna show you this design I have here because the camera is pointing at me and you can't see the table. So I'm gonna point it down and you can have, you can see what I got going and we'll get, we'll get started. Uh, make sure you give the video a like and a comment for the algorithm. It really helps me out. Okay, so here's my colors. This is titanium white. I'll be using this for the base. This is by Montmart. Um, there's a link to a recipe in, sorry, <laughs> there's a link to a video in the description with, with has my, that has my recipe and everything. Um, for Montmartre paint though, I can tell you um, it's one part paint, one part flow draw, one part glue, um, one part water, and half part liquid explorer medium. The other colors, you kind of got to play with the water to get to the consistency you want. But if I'm with the Montmartre white, I just can actually put one part water. Um, this is this is Italic Black. It's by Artist Loft. Nice shimmer to that. This is Sergeant Art Silver. Super pretty. And this is Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I'm hoping to get some lacing with this. And if not, it's okay. It's just a, another black. I want lots of black and white. All right, so here we are, ready to go. Um, I got these laid um, out the way I want to hang them on the wall. I just, just that I have them sitting really close together. Um, in real life, they would probably be like an inch apart, but in order for the paint to flow properly, I gotta have them like almost touching. So I'm gonna cover these in white to start. I have a big jug that's mixed up. I'm just gonna pour it on here and then I'm gonna tilt it around. I am not gonna make you watch that because that is painful. I'm gonna speed that part up and then um, I'll close back normal speed when I do the rest. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the metallic black and I'm just gonna kind of put it across here. And then I'll go with the silver. And then the oxide black. Okay, and then I'm gonna line white along the edge. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna blow this out with a hair dryer. I just have my, my old trusty hair dryer here that's been used and abused with my tip on the end that gives you a little more control of the air coming out. You can get these on Amazon. It was $13 for a set of three at, when I got it a couple years ago. Um, who knows what the price is, probably like 40 bucks. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just kind of blow this in this direction this way and hopefully um, it doesn't look like a mess when I'm done. to this point I like to torch it and then just kind of look at it a little bit see if I want to blow any more areas out there's a lot of paint sitting right here that I think I want to get rid of but I don't want to ruin that I think I'm just gonna we'll see what happens there this to come off the edge of it maybe or well, maybe I should have more down I think I need this to move a little bit so I didn't get that lacing glass open I get but you know Okay, I really do like this mixture of black and gray. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna separate these a little bit. And then I'm going to run my stick here underneath the edge to get rid of the excess paint. And then I'm going to bring you in to have a better look at this. All right, here we go. gonna look really nice it's nice and neutral so it's gonna go with any colors and the black and white and gray is really good for the, all the modern colors of homes what do you guys think of this design and colors This is, I'm probably gonna put resin on this because it's wooden panels and it looks so good. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any suggestions, ideas, anything you want me to try. I'm always open to that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.